Her Majesty helped to celebrate the organization's 100th anniversary and unveiled a commemorative plaque with a hidden message at Watergate House in London. The UK's intelligence agency saved countless lives and shortened war since it was launched in 1919 under the original name of the Government Code and Cipher School. The 92-year-old monarch met with senior staff and guests and shared stories of her family's involvement with the intelligence service throughout the years. The Queen has been receiving intelligence from the agency for much of its existence, but she joked how her father King George VI would become frustrated with his scrambler phone, modified by GCHQ, to make his call secret. Her Majesty said, I remember my father had one, he used to get so cross when it didn't scramble. Took some time to heat up and then work. GCHQ's director Jeremy Fleming, speaking at the agency's former London home, told the Queen and invited guests, Our work is not often glamorous or easily portrayed in film. But over the last 100 years it has saved countless lives, shortened wars, given Britain an edge, and solved or harnessed some of the world's hardest technology challenges. During the Second World War the agency moved staff to Bletchley Park, where Alan Turing who was last week crowned by the BBC as the greatest person of the 20th century, was instrumental in breaking Enigma encrypted communications, making a significant contribution to the Allied victory. In the company's boardroom, named after Turing, the Queen chatted to the grandchildren of the agency's first head Alastair Deniston, and when she met Ruth Bourne, 92, who had worked in a Bletchley Park satellite base, she praised Turing saying, he was an amazing man. The Queen also said, it's the thing that fascinates me about Bletchley, the people who work there never speak about it. Artifacts from GCHQ's history were shown to the Queen, from Margaret Thatcher's mobile scrambling phone that encrypted her conversations during the Falklands War period, to an original Enigma machine used by Nazi forces to encrypt their messages. A code book used by the royal household in 1947 which contained the pseudonym 2519 for the Queen, when she was Princess Elizabeth, was also on display. The Queen ended her visit by unveiling a plaque containing two secret, hidden messages of not to the code-breaking minds who established the agency. The plaque, which features certain letters or numbers with a dotter line under them, says, 1919-1921. The first home of GCHQ. The UK's Intelligence Security and Cyber Agency known then as GCNCS, formed from the Admiralty's Room 40 and the War Office's MI1, B. It's revealed the letters with dots spell out 100 years is to mark its centenary year.